Hi guys, this is a tutorial of The Ghost of You by My Chemical Romance. As usual, everything that you need is down in the description box, so please go and check that out. There will be a full run through of the song at the end of this video, so stay tuned if you're interested in that. If you enjoy this and you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button, I'd really, really appreciate it. Apart from that, let's just get started with the tutorial. So, let's just get straight into it. So, this one's pretty nice and simple. The first chord that we're going to want for the introduction is a B minor, okay? So for a B minor, we take B, D, and F sharp, okay? And in our left hand, that is the B and the F sharp. So that's our B minor. So for the intro, we just want... We go down to an E minor, okay? Now, if you want this playing pattern, there is a video of it down in the description. So, E minor is E, G, and B, with an E and a B in the left. So, that's your E minor. Then, we want an F sharp minor, okay? So, in our right hand, that is F sharp, A. C sharp with an F sharp and a C sharp in the left. Okay, so for the intro, it's just B minor, E minor, F sharp minor. Okay, then Going into the first verse, the chords are exactly the same, okay? In exactly the same order, and we go through them twice. So, like this, B minor first. I never said I'd lie and wait for E minor, ever, F sharp minor. If I died, we'd be two, and start it again. Gather now, I can't always just forget her, but she could try at the end of the world. So, that's the verse. Going into the chorus, we want a G. At the end of the world. So G is G, B. D in our right hand and in our left two G's. The end of the world. Then to an E minor. Or the last thing I see you are. Then up to B minor with two B's. Never coming home, never coming home, could I? Now, this song has a lot of. What, so the next chord is a D5, okay? Which we probably haven't spoken about the five chords much. Um, so it basically means, in basic terms, you miss out whatever the middle note would be. Um, so for a D5, it's just D and A, whereas that would be a normal D. That's a D5, okay? So... And then we want two Ds in the left hand, so. Could I, should I? Then we want to go down to an A5, so that's A and E, with two A's in the left hand. Okay. Then we go down to a G. And all the things that you never ever told me. E minor. And all the smiles that are ever, ever. So I'll just play the chorus through for you. At the end of the world, or the last thing I see, you are never coming home, never coming home. Could I? Should I? And all the things that you never ever told me, and all the smiles that are ever, ever, ever. Okay, so the second verse is exactly the same as the first, so let's just play that through. Ever get the feeling that you're never all alone, and I remember now at the top of my lungs in my arms, she dies, she dies. So, in 
into the next chorus. We do a G5 festival. I don't think it really sounds any much different. So you can probably just get away with a normal G. So just a G5. So that's without that B. At the end of the world, or the last thing I see. So an E5. Again, you can probably get away with it being an E minor. Um, but we just take that middle note out. You're the last thing I see. You are. B5 which is same as B minor, but we just take that D out. Never coming home, never coming home, could I? D5, A5, should I? And repeat that. And all the things that you never ever told me, and all the smiles that are ever gonna haunt me. Never coming home, never coming home, could I? Should I? G5. For all the girls that are never gonna catch me. Right, so for the fives during the chorus, you can, it's not gonna kill you to, to keep them as the normal chords. So if you wanna play the G as a normal G, the G5 as a normal G, sorry, or the E5 as an E minor, or the B5 as a B minor, that is absolutely fine if that's how you wanna do it. I'm just doing it with what chords I've got so that you can follow along more easily. But if that's how you feel comfortable doing it, that's cool too. So that chorus should sound like this. At the end of the world, or the last thing I see, you are never coming home, never coming home. Could I? Should I? And all the things that you never ever told me, and all the smiles that are So for this part, it's just B minor, E minor, B minor, E minor. Okay, so like this. If I fall. If I fall. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so for this part, B5. G5, C sharp 5, which is C sharp and G sharp in the right, two, G sh uh, two C sharp, sorry, in the left, and then F sharp 5, which is F sharp and C sharp, with two F sharps, and we repeat that four times, so like this. Whoa. So for this last chorus, it's pretty much exactly the same apart from when we do the Never coming home, never coming home, never coming home, never coming home The first time, instead of doing the Should, could I, should I, we just do an A5, okay, so like this At the end of the world, or the last thing I see So that is the last chorus. It's exactly the same apart from that one line where instead of doing the D5, A5, you just do the A5, okay? So that is it. 
I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Like I said at the beginning, everything that you need is down in the description box, including the cords that I used for this. If you have any problems, please feel free to let me know and I will do my best to try and help you out with it. If you enjoyed this and you're not subscribed, please press that subscribe button. There is a full run through of the song at the end of the video if you think that would be helpful for you. I hope that you guys are well and that you enjoyed this and I will speak to you all very, very soon. Mwah. Bye.